guys, it's time to study the critical point. We've seen before the triple point in which you meet liquid, solid and vapor, but now it's time to analyze the critical point. And this point is essentially when the liquid gas equilibrium line ends. Uh, you will have an interaction of liquid and of gas and actually you will have properties of liquid and those of gas, so it's essentially a gas turning into a liquid and a liquid turning into a gas. It varies, it's, different, it's difficult to imagine, but the good thing is that this property right here, the critical temperature, that is the temperature at, that, at which that point occurs, the, pre the critical pressure, the pressure at which that point occurs, and of course you know that if you have a temperature and a pressure, you will have a volume at that specific point. These properties are very important, especially because each substance have one of each or one of each own. So you will be able to categorize many substances according to their critical points. And sorry about being theoretical, I actually wanted to show you a diagram with a critical point. It's right here. You see, this is the equilibrium line between solid, uh, between water or liquid, and vapor or gas, whatever you want to call it you see how it cannot continue even though in this diagram they have a separate green and yellow well that's not the point actually this is compressible liquid here this is gas phase this is vapor we're going to see vapor in the next video the difference between two, these two guys but what i want to show you right now is this super critical fluid area so once we get this more pressure or more temperature will remain as a supercritical fluid, guys. That's very interesting. And what's a supercritical fluid is essentially it has gas properties and liquid properties. What's up, guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.